Hi all, welcome to my channel, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods and today I've got something a bit special for you on a Sunday. Um, as you can see there's been quite a few changes in this uh, in this bear cave of mine, the room. So I thought I'd give you an updated tour of how things have changed a little bit and other bits and pieces that you might not know known about. So um, I've done a short little video for you, it's about five minutes long, just to tour of this uh, room that I use well I don't just use it myself uh, my whole family actually uses it so it's not exactly my room um, it is a room for homework and college work and everything else like that under the sun as well so I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you after it okay so let's go through the door and into the cave wow Okay, so first of all what we have here is my tin plates collection. So there we have the Star Wars that came on the X-Wing build. We've got the Spitfire tin plate there, the Root Master tin plate. We have the Ecto-1 plate there. And below that we have the uh, DeLorean plate. And then below that I've got this for Christmas is the Future plate uh, for the DeLorean. And then if we just go down here... We've got another tin plate that I got, I think that was from Amazon, and that is, wait a minute, Doc, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The famous scene. Um, so if we go around to here, you can see I've got my Ecto-1, that's now on my desk. This was the area I used to have my computer at, so that was the tin plate you'd see behind me. But I've had a bit of a massive change around in here, uh, just to make things easier. But that is the Ecto-1 there on its base plate uh, stand sorry as you can see and we've got a that were a gift from uh, a fellow youtuber Fleetwood J and then we have my uh, Yoda diamond painting and up here we have a little bit of an RAF theme going on so we've got a lovely uh, picture that was given to me at Christmas again by Fleetwood J um, of two Spitfires and there we have the Builder Spitfire build along with another Spitfire um, that was like a Lego kit if you know what I mean then we've got the aircraft got my R2D2 and C3PO and BB-8 there I mean up there is all my folders for the builds we've got some boxes there with tools, painting and bits and pieces we've got my overhead camera light which is on a cord so I can, if you look there, lower it if I need to do a bit more. Then as you can see, this is the main build area. So there we have all the tools that I um, use. They're all to hand just when I need them. And then that's the camera, the overhead camera. We've got the Logitech C920 there that uses the close-up. There's my builder's mat. I've just been working on Ecto-1 build. Um, so that's why that's there so yeah I like to have all my tools to hand now if I move around there's my speaker and I've got my cactus that again was a Christmas gift off Horlicks uh, we've got bits there my wife did that for me for being a thousand subscribers and then she cross stitched me that uh, which is really nice of her I've got my Death Star we've got the speaker um, and then if I step back this is my work area so this is where i hopefully make everything come to life so we've got my uh microphone there I've got my two monitors i'm just running a scan on my computer at the moment uh my mouse and keyboard and my we uh, webcam which is my face cam uh, that's a stream cam i've got two of them that's one and then there's obviously one over there for the build uh, that gives me 60 frames per second which is great and then if we look up here, there we have all the builds. And in there is the magazines that are yet to be built. So once they've been built, they get put in the uh, relevant folders, but they're there to hand so I can just grab them and go. Um, down here, might be a bit hard to see, but uh, that is the MyClean uh, guide to mods. So that tells you each issue in the DeLorean when you need a mod and you can get that off my lane. Got my little water thing there because I drink a lot of water being diabetic. Now up there, there's the X-Wing. Um, all the premium bits as well. Uh, 
to do so that's huge now is that x-wing and if i come back down there is the delorean um all its bits i've got the misty fusion tire out there the white wall tires uh just various bits i've got on show there um that i'm just sort of doing a little bit of a, a, a thing show really then if we go down we have the red bull racer um that i built that was from model space um, I was heavily into RC cars when I was a, a, a teenager and child, so I built that uh, one. I've had, I've, have had that running, but it just needs a bit of fine tuning. There we have uh, the T800 wall plaque, and that's from Part Work Upgrades. And there we have the Terminator sitting there guarding. Then we have the Hummer, again, that's an RC uh, nitro car from Model Space. I um, haven't got that running yet. I finished it when we moved house and I've yet to get it running. So that's going to be a project this summer. And we've got the R2D2 there. And we've got the Millennium Falcon. My first ever part work build was the Millennium Falcon. Really enjoyed it. And then I've got all my sort of Star Wars bits here. A massive collector of Star Wars. Got loads of bits and pieces, got lightsabers, cubs, they're the mugs from the uh, various builds, I'm getting mugs in. All the little bits and pieces that I've collected over the years. There we have it, quite a few. Okay, now if I go down, that is an electric RC car, that is the uh, Lancia Delta. There we go, and if you look down here, I've got my filing cabinets there. And they're just basically bits and pieces from the build. So we've got the Spitfire, we've got the DeLorean, we've got the Ecto-1 there, <coughs> we've got the X-Wing, and we've got the Terminator, which is all in there. Can't show you that drawer, because that is to come soon on the channel, but that does have a build in it, to tell you the truth. And then just down there, I've just got some tools and bits and pieces that are using them drawers down there. And that's really it, uh, to be honest with you. I've got my bell jars there where I put all my change. The computer underneath there. Bin and printer and bits and pieces. And that is this bear cave done. So, yeah, it's uh, where things happen. And my kids also come in here and do their homework or college work and stuff like that. So... It's not just used exclusively by me, it's actually used by all the family. Um, even my wife, Yorkshire Crafter, or Mrs. Mark's Mods, she does use this when she can get in here to do the diamond painting show she does on a Wednesday. Um, so, uh, yeah, we all use this room, um, but it's just the way we have it set up. And, uh, yeah, so that concludes the tour of the... Uh, the bear cave as I call it because I was called bear in scouting and I was told it's a bear cave not a man cave. Um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah I'll catch you next time. Well I hope you enjoyed that video uh, it was quite fun making it like I said it was only five minutes long but I'll just sort of give you an insight into uh, how I have things set up my recording bits and pieces and also my massive uh, collection of Star Wars memorabilia. Uh, I think I need to do a bit more work on the uh, Back to the Future memorabilia, but don't tell the wife on that one. Uh, but yeah, I really am enjoying that DeLorean build at the moment. And like I said, we have sort of got some, something coming up on the channel very soon in the next few months. Um, there is going to be a little bit of a binge on that one because I'm going to be obviously collecting the issues as they come now uh, to when I release issue one of this new build, which I'm not giving anything away on it. Uh, a few people know, but that's about as much as I'm going to say on that one. So if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, guys, stay safe and bye for now.